Hey guys, welcome to the new video. And uh, in this video, I will try to remember you why you like watch my video. Uh, I think because uh, I'm the one person. Uh, sorry about the light. One person uh, which uh, make a video with the stuff uh, uh, from uh, with the stuff uh, which other people don't want to uh, recycle because he think it's a waste of time but uh, I just do that for fun and I want to see where is got uh, everything uh, where got uh, gold silver platinum palladium in the electronic so today we got some special time so we got uh, I'm bored and I just want to make a video uh, about a rib ribbon cable. I want to see uh, if uh, somebody somebody said uh, that uh, something is silver. Somebody said uh, it's a tin, and I just want to see what's true about that. So you know, but uh, this cable. This is from the optical device. And this one is with the gold. So uh, what I think it's, uh, is uh, if this main cable from the optical device contain a little gold, these two, why this one, secondary cable, why shouldn't that contain silver? So. My finger is stuck in the sun glue, so look at that. I think it's a silver. So what I want to try today, it's uh, that I got a lot of this cable. This is the mix cable. I got everything here, some this one, some this one, and I got uh, a lot of the ribbon cable inside. So what I want to do, it's the I will separate this ribbon cable and I want to see how much exactly silver I can get if I can get something from that cable. Okay? So, let's make the funny video. Okay, I separate my ribbon cable, not much inside, uh, but this is just to be a test video, so never mind, I just I don't want to show you how much silver is in the ribbon cable I just want to show you that maybe is possible that ribbon cable contains some silver so we will cut this part so I don't got too much of these put that in a little jar and uh, look at that this is just a test so what we're gonna do first is that we add just a little nitric acid just to cover all that and look at that we already got some reaction crap so probably First, I will need some catch pan, but never mind. I'll be back when I finish all that. The reaction is stopped, so I put my gas mask. I forgot uh, that uh, this stuff is the practical the same like the gold finger. You got the copper underneath, and uh, so look at that. We got some blue, bluish liquid we got some uh, all the fingers is already dissolved but uh, I got a couple of stubborn pins uh, finger so I just wait a little more to dissolve all that and we will 
avoid we will filter that solution and when we will add uh, some hydrochloric acid to test if that they're silver in solution okay now we will filter this solution we got nice uh, blue solution got some copper in it and see that finger it's all the clean no silver reflection on it and now what we do we will precipitate silver if any silver inside i use for that hydrochloric acid 35 percent and you also can use uh, could use a uh, table salt it's cheaper but uh, i just want to see and that way we will add just a little bit hydrochloric acid and if there is silver inside that will be precipitate silver like uh, silver fluoride like uh, white powder so what we see that there there is no any reaction because uh, just a little HCl is enough to precipitate some silver and uh, I don't see any white trace so probably they don't got anything inside so The test is a failure and uh, there is no silver in the ribbon cable it's probably just tin or uh, nickel i don't know maybe it's a nickel probably it's a nickel and tin but it's be a funny test and uh, this solution this solution is not a waste solution because still i could i could use that like aqua regia so i will just cover this jar and uh, put on the side and i use that when i dissolve some base metal or uh, gold or everything i don't know this is not waste so okay see you around guys